Mark Morales, I serve on the Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees. I've served on the board for three years. Um, and in three years on the school board, I'm not sure that I can remember a single time that we as a board talked about uh, strategic ways to solve the achievement gap in Dallas. What I have heard is a lot of conversations about which vendors should get awarded which contracts. I have heard a lot of conversations uh, second guessing the administrative staff um, uh, where we don't have the authority really to do that. And I have heard, um, I've heard a lot of uh, demands for uh, uh, better treatment for different parts of town and worse treatment for other parts of town. That's, that's pretty much 80% of the conversations that we had in the school board. I'm not sure if any of you have um, attended a school board uh, briefings and meetings regularly, about seven hours in life. And we cover a great deal of topics, but very rarely do we ever talk about actually solving our problems for our kids. There are usually um, arguments by adults for adults about adults. Um, this is a um, this is a tragedy. Uh, it's a tragedy of our nation proportions because we have a, a, a democratic process that selects nine people who who everyone in this room and everyone beyond this room is charged with. Um, trying to really solve problems for our kids. And what we do instead is we argue amongst ourselves incessantly. Um, and I've seen that in my three years on the board, and I've seen that for 20 years on the school board. And I'm not sure that I have met anyone in Dallas, um, except perhaps sitting school board members, who think the school board is actually doing a good job. Um, and I would agree with them. I think that we do a horrendously bad job in serving our kids. Um, and I'm not sure why it is. I just know that the nine of us are not getting jobs done for our kids. Um, uh, and when we look at the school system, the school system today is performing as well as it ever has. Uh, we have in the last 20 years just about doubled the rate of achievement for our African American students. We've just about doubled the rate of achievement for our Hispanic students. But if you look at the gap, um, the white kids are substantially outpacing uh, the black and Hispanic kids. 20 years ago, the difference between white kids and black kids in this district was about 20 percentage points, and now it's closer to 35 percentage points. We have a school system that is um, getting outcomes that are better for those at the top, um, and much better for those at the top than they used to be. And it's, it's leading to the creation of a permanent underclass in our society. And this is unacceptable, and this is happening all while we, nine adults, elected by everybody in this room, continue to argue over who gets what slice of the adult pie, rather than how do we solve problems for our kids. Um, the, the, there's some stuff on these brochures that is extremely um, useful. For example, universal full day pre-k. I'm not sure I've sure met a single person that doesn't think that that's a great idea. I'm an absolute avid proponent of, of pre-k. But let me ask you this question. The state of Texas provides the EISD with funding for three-year-olds and four-year-olds for, for pre-K and has done so for about 20 years. And for about 20 years, we've not taken them up on that offer. Um, it's about $60 million a year that we could use right now to, to put kids in pre-K at three years of age and four years of age. And for 20 years, the school board has, has not done it. Now that's about a billion dollars that we could have invested in our kids at the three and four year old um, level in the last 20 years that we could have done without raising taxes and nickel, and the school board hasn't done it. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a particularly important fact, and I want to just wanna, to throw this out again. If, if we have the opportunity, if we in our city have the opportunity to provide comprehensive coverage for three year olds and four year olds, and we can do it without raising taxes, and we get more money from the state. Excuse me, I have a question. And we don't do it. Okay, and, we, and we don't do it. Let him finish. My, my, uh, no, sorry. If we have the opportunity to do it, why aren't we? And I think, I think you need to look at the nine of us, the nine school board members that get
get elected in the face and hold us accountable. But in the last 19 elections, yeah. incumbents have won just about every single time. Yeah. So we're not being held accountable for our kids. Yeah. What, what, what we're held accountable for is to try to reduce controversy in the newspaper and keep the taxes as low as possible. We can, what happens in the classroom is of, of totally no consequence when it comes to